Hello, everyone. Uh, good morning and uh, welcome to Kanini Connect, our educational series focused on providing some insights into industry and uh, overall uh, specific to our practices around uh, data analytics, service now, and product engineering. We are glad that you are able to join us today. Uh, our today's session is going to be focused on uh, Kanini's uh, MSP um, and ServiceNow as a, so uh, Josh was Smith, our practice director from ServiceNow. He's going to go through that. Meanwhile, uh, this is Raj. So I had the global uh, delivery for Kanini and uh, Kanini has been in business for over 17 years. And uh, we focus on three niche areas. As I mentioned, one is product engineering and second one is data analytics and AI. And the third one is ServiceNow, which we are going to talk about today. And uh, from a context perspective, we are a, a Microsoft Gold partner and a premier partner with ServiceNow. So uh, our goal is to help our customers uh, implement their digital transformation as smoothly as possible. And we provide all the way from advisory over to actually executing the plan and then taking them through to the finish line from the digital transformation perspective. So with that, I will uh, hand it over to Josh to take us through the service now and uh, a bit of the MSP and, and its uh, benefits here. Okay. Should shortly be seeing my screen that shows the PowerPoint. Uh, this one shows a little bit more about the practice itself. So as Roz introduced himself, I'll introduce myself as Joshua Smith, practice director here at Canini for the service now practice. What you see here is a practice that has grown over the last three years, almost exponentially, even here in just the past eight months. Several projects, over a dozen implemented, have a whole team of people of over 30 and should reach 45 here by the end of the year. So a good core group of certified, intelligent, and experienced individuals able to help you with different parts of your engagements. As you kind of see here in the middle slide, you actually can see some of the different things we do from implementations to integrations, administration and upgrades. We also offer advisory and you'll hear a lot more about that as we go through. Advisory could be anything from road mapping to maturity assessments to kind of helping you find out what you don't know. More often than not, customers come to me and they talk about well, I just don't know what to do next. And it's kind of one of those old sayings of you don't know what you don't know until you've kind of dive into this. One of the main focuses of this practice beyond implementations and so forth is skilling up. And you'll see here across the bottom, we have a large number of certifications that are continuing to add to that every single day, whether it's becoming application developers and understanding integrations, or becoming focused in some of the areas of say things like GRC, IRM, customer service management or field service management. All of this is to ensure that you're getting knowledgeable individuals who understand the tool, but also can help you take your business processes to the next level. All of this is part of what our ServiceNow team does each and every day. And it's something that we do to try to really help go forward from there. All of this sets us up to talk about what we're here to talk about today, which is what we call an MSP version of ServiceNow. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the term, what it is, is basically a multi-tenant version of ServiceNow where we host it. We have the expertise that not only sets it up, but runs it day to day, installs patching, installs the upgrades, does basic user maintenance and things like that but multiple customers are on our instance and using it. There's a lot of good benefits to doing this. And one of the first ones is a lot of times scalability. If you're in a growth mode, a lot like our own ServiceNow instance is and our own team, you'll find that the ability to quickly add on to your instance the type of functionality you need is invaluable. Especially the speed in which we are able to accomplish this is what really finds customers raving about what we're able to do and makes a lot of fans out of what we can do here. So the ability to scale and change the volume of what you consume and what you provide easily is really key to being successful in the environment. Another thing that you saw in my previous slide is our product expertise. You're not just hiring someone who's implemented ServiceNow once or twice and is now helping you take ServiceNow to the next level. 
you have people that have dozens of implementations and other such projects underneath their belt. That product expertise is invaluable when trying to take your maturity from say a level two to a level three, implementing things like change management, major incident management, or as you move into different parts of the tool. So outside of ITSM could be things like ITAM and ITOM, GRC or integrated risk management, or even just integrating things into your current environment. Canini comes from that product engineering background where this is what they've been doing for years long before they ever grabbed ServiceNow and started using that as the tool of choice. So what you have here is a team of developers that have long since understood integration points. And now that they're on the ServiceNow team can integrate with tools like Azure DevOps, Veracode, SonarCube, SCCM, Jira, and a number of other tools out there in the environments. One of the biggest selling points to me of ServiceNow is the single pane of glass approach that it allows you to do and become that system of action. I grab information from the tools you have in your environment, centralize the data into ServiceNow so I can make automated or at least intelligent decisions about what to do next. Again, from an MSP standpoint, you get our product expertise telling you what you can and can't do in most cases, but also helping you really realize the art of the possible. How can we take what you're doing today and really enhance it as part of your digital transformation? The last kind of point here is talking about the short onboarding. Rather than having to spin up your own instance and start all the way fresh from all types of data, whether it's organizational to your CMDB, we have the ability to get you set up and running very quickly. We've done a lot of the core tasks that are needed to set up an instance. We're largely configuring certain key data points, importing some of your data, and it's very easy and quick to get you on the run, servicing your customers, whether they're internal or externally facing. All in all, an MSP brings to you a lot more benefits for the buck, for the investment, but number one thing I would stand behind with what you're getting here is our product expertise from implementations to administration. The ServiceNow job market and trying to find an admin is a very harrowing experience nowadays. And so this brings you into that different piece. The next thing of point we want to make, and I'm going to kick it back to Raj, is talk a little bit about Canini's history around digital transformation and what else we can do for you in this space and why I stand behind our expertise from that point. Raj, off to you. Thank you, Josh. So overall, if um, if one thing over the last um, year and a half or, or several months, right, the COVID-19 has pushed companies to, to, um, to a point in the technology where it is transformed their business forever, right? So looking at how some of these changes that they, especially on the digital side, a lot of this has pushed by several years, several years in a matter of months, right? And some of these changes that they have made or they're in the process of making are here, especially going to be there for a while, right? So in that process, if you look at a lot of these changes, they have, uh, they have though digitally enabled products in their in their respect to portfolios of each companies, a lot of them also have put together some temporary solutions to meet their current demands. And now they are trying to look at the possibility of long-term solutions that can make them really relevant in this overall digital race that we are here, right? So in that, even though there is lots of tools in the market, there is lots of uh, uh, companies that are looking for this transformation, there is still a lot of need for like advisory in this space where a lot of people, more than the tool itself, a lot of people need help in terms of how to do the transformation without impacting what they are doing today, right? That is number one. And number two, what sort of tools can we bring to the mix to really help the transformation as smooth as possible and also make it as long lasting as possible, right? So in that context, I think uh, if you look at uh, the industry, ServiceNow has made a long impact over the last uh, few months, right? So they have a good history of 
bringing changes live quickly, right? So we have seen a lot of success stories where customers are looking to implement something that, that should help their customers. I mean, in a matter of weeks, right? So ServiceNow is able to bring the changes as quickly as possible and make it happen. So, so from a Kanini perspective, as in uh, we are a digital transformation player, right? I'm sure if you go into the website, that is all we do. We help our customers implement digital transformation as seamlessly as possible. And as Josh mentioned, we are a premier partner with ServiceNow and we do help customers from, from overall advisory, right? Taking where you are currently and where you want to be in the near future, what are the interim milestones that you really want to achieve and then and, and work with you to really chalk out a roadmap and especially talk about uh, how do we achieve, right? We, and then what sort of tool makes, what sort of people makes that you require to get there, right? So, so we can, we, we do that all the time, right? So we, we look at your maturity, you look at where you want to be, draw that maturity mapping, create a roadmap, right? So in that context, I think service now plays a key role here because this is one platform which is, which is very workflow centric, right? And, and it will help. It could be like a system of action for your overall enterprise, right? You might have like 10 different tools doing uh, 10 different things today. How can we consolidate and what else can service now do to, to limit that, consolidate the 10 over to probably a few of them that you can manage better, make it more efficient and, and not get um, um, overwhelmed or overwhelm your employees with the number of tools that you have. So, uh, right. And so in this process, we have worked with our customers and we have implemented a lot of this uh, uh, integrations, especially with ServiceNow. And we have done some uh, good work around that piece that uh, Josh is going to talk about in the next uh, slides and the demo here. Over to you, Josh. Yeah, I want to really reinforce what Raj said there. Again, you hear it all. It's people process and technology. And it's something that Canini has really taken a look. And again, from a people standpoint, from a process standpoint, this is where advisory really kicks in, talking about process maturity, talking about you know where you are in terms of an organization, where are your people, not only how good is your process, but what about the people behind the scenes? Are they trained correctly? Are they understanding? Is process adherence an issue? And then, of course, you finally end up with the tool. And ServiceNow really is that different piece there. And so what you have here is, um, you know, a really interesting tool that's over the years has really grown. A lot of people have considered ServiceNow just a ticketing tool, but it really is a, a wholesale, you know, workforce management solution. And there's a whole lot of things behind it. You know, there's different workflows that it can do. There's different pieces and technology all in there. It's all encompassing. And so I stand behind the technology, but I even more stand behind the people and process stuff that we can help you with here within Canadian. Now, um, some of the other pieces, what I want to do here is just briefly show you a little bit of what I mean when I talk about some of the different parts of the tool. There's a lot of expansive things you can do within the ServiceNow tool. And one of the main things that we keep talking about is the different integration points. Before we finish, I'm going to actually show you some of the different things that we have on the tool um, in terms of um, integrating with Veracode, integrating with things like SonarCube. And these are all published apps on the App Store that we have today here at Canini. What you're seeing here on my screen, for example, is an overall risk dashboard. Now, one of the things I love about ServiceNow is as they've gone on, they try to look at it from different perspectives. This is no longer just looking at it from a service desk perspective, but now looking at it as you know, someone who's over risk and compliance. And then there's other views that are just for IT supervisors and managers and the CIO. This particular view talks about risk and why I think it's important to talk about it is there's usually no one single source of all the risk in your environment. This particular risk dashboard combines things coming in from vulnerability scanners, and you may have multiple ones in your environment. This particular system also has a complete CMDB, but you can only have a complete CMDB if you're scanning not only your Windows devices, but your servers, not only your servers and your Windows devices, but also your Mac devices. So we have multiple sources feeding into this. 
it's scanned, whether it's daily, weekly, or however often that it is, updated in here, and then these things are assessed. Now, there are certain risks that may pop up, certain things that are exposed, whether it's actually looking at code or it's looking at you know port scans and so forth. And all of that plays in really well here to this risk heat map. Now, very, very much so here, people are very visual. I can list this all in a list. And if I was to click into any one of these, every dashboard within ServiceNow will present you this type of list views that gives you the ability to jump in and see the details of what I just looked at. So if you look at this particular risk dashboard, I now have loss of integrity issues, employee skills, all of these different things feeding into what might be, can constitute, say, a low inherent risk, for example. But going back here into my dashboard, you're also seeing that I can click in and see what are my high inherent risks. So this could be anything that has an extremely high likelihood of occurring and has a very high impact if it were to occur. Different things like if the retail POS went down, loss of confidentiality of user data, these are the kind of things that get promoted out into the news site. So these are all very important to understand when looking at your environment. Now, the reason why I'm showing things like these risks and stuff is we've had several customers who have come to us that are currently using things like spreadsheets to track their risk register, who are doing their assessments either in a .NET type of form or they're just sending an email and hoping that these things come back. One of the great things that ServiceNow can do is provide a place for all of that data to go. So now, as you see on my screen, I have a whole lot of risk stuff right here at my fingertips on a dashboard. Assessments can be taken within the tools so that you can go into a portal, fill out the forms, provide evidence and attestations, all of this stuff, all from one particular tool point. If I wanted to go ahead and do an audit, I can schedule audits ahead of time. I can see a dashboard here with an audit. I can look at the particular audit that I may be looking at. For example, a finance department audit here in Q4. I can see all the risks that were identified, controls that are a part of this. All of these different pieces, again, at my fingertips. And why this comes up in our MSP discussion is simply because some customers are looking to get off of their current you know, very manual process and use a workflow tool like ServiceNow to send automated approvals, to get out of email, to pull these things out of spreadsheets. All of these things are possible all from within the tool, all within this area here. So from an MSP standpoint, we can host the 20 people you might have in your risk and compliance division, have them use a tool like this, digitize their operations, and really transform what it is that they're doing each and every day. What I'm gonna do now is shift back on over and talk about some of our applications that we have out in the store that kind of support this, but also really talk about how that might help you in your day to day. This particular slide only really focuses on the automation and vulnerability apps that we've created. We have several other projects underneath our, um, you know, in our tool belt, things that we've done, We've accomplished quite a bit over the last three years here in the ServiceNow practice, but this particular slide here really talks about vulnerability and automation apps that we've built on the Now platform. So you see things that I talked about before, like the Sonar Cube app, or we have Azure DevOps and Jira. These are best in class tools in certain cases and development teams are used to using Jira all day long but there's a really good case to be made to bringing that data into service now because this is where most of the rest of the IT team sits. Same thing for your vulnerability information. You may have things that actually check through code and go through different pieces like Veracode. Grabbing the actual vulnerabilities and shifting them into a actionable ticket, for example, within service now really cuts down on the meantime to resolve and remediate these types of issues. There's also a lot of automation capabilities within the tool, whether it's just as simple as keeping certain things in sync to actual deployment automation. For example, software deployment or code deployment can be automated utilizing the Now platform. Each and every one of these things has a good use case, and we have five different apps out there on the ServiceNow App Store right now, and those will continue to grow. We will continue to make a different automation pieces. We'll make accelerators 
each one of these has its place and will continue as we go on to add to this. So pay attention to this space because there's more to come. What I wanna do now then is kind of take a step back and push back to Raj and then open up for any questions. So if anyone has any questions or concerns, we're more than happy to have a larger discussion. Again, I want to focus on the fact that what Canini brings to this MSP instance and why I think it's valuable to you is our focus on not just the technology, but on the people and the process. Our advisory can really help you, whether it's a maturity assessment or a roadmap, we bring to bear that expertise to really help take your service now or your ITSM or your integrated risk management to that next level. Raj, any parting thoughts before we open up for questions? No, Josh, I think uh, you've covered it. So, so pretty much, I think we believe, I think we have the expertise. So most importantly, I think we want to, please feel free to reach out to us with any sort of a problem, right? So, so we, we we want to first understand the issue and then uh, work with you to really look at what is needed rather than, I mean, it may not be service now, right? So, so we are talking about service now, but but a tool is just an enabler. So, so we want to look at the problem, look at it broadly, holistically, and, and look at and advise whether you need to take an MSP route or you need to really uh, get your own instance, right? So as a premier partner, we can help you connect with some service now people and, and help you get the best um, experience overall. With that, and we can open up for questions. See a question here asking if multiple sources can work within this. And yes, the question uh, that yes, we can. You can have multiple sources coming in. And that's really where I think ServiceNow shines is again, that single pane of glass approach, being able to bring in multiple things, whether you're having multiple feeds for your CMDB, multiple sources with your vulnerability. Once you've scanned and bring those in, whether it's only scanning your you know, DMZ or it's scanning your entire environment for vulnerabilities, all this stuff kind of comes into one actionable dashboard within ServiceNow. And absolutely. I mean, just, just, just not the vulnerability, right? We can talk about a lot of uh, agile tools, right? Like it could be Jira, it could be Azure DevOps that we have seen. So, so we can actually bring in all the, a um, lot of different sources, integrate, create good dashboards and reports, look at ServiceNow as the risk management solution for your project management, right? So there is a lot more use cases just with the integration opportunity here within ServiceNow. Okay, with that, I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and close for today. Again, you can reach out to us and we'll be glad to answer some further questions. Again, my parting shot here really is, as you kind of see here, people, process, and technology. Raj really touched on it, but I want to make the point. We utilize things like ServiceNow, but it's not the only tool that we have expertise in. There are things that we will do to focus on what's the right fit for your organization. The MSP may not be the right route. ServiceNow may have some different pieces there that we can bring to bear. So we're happy to have those conversations regardless of those different areas. So Email us at transformations at canini.com. Reach out to us online. Visit our website at canini.com, and we'd be glad to talk to you further. Thank you, and goodbye, everybody. Thank you all.